What's up guys, Sean here with Briar Home Buyers. Today I want to ask the question, are you letting other investors lie to you? The reason I asked that question is we had a lead come in today who told us that she currently has her property under contract with another investor. That investor gave her an offer on her house of $150,000. He set up escrow, he opened the title search, he gave all the contracts to the attorneys, and he set a closing date. He set a closing date before he had found an end buyer for her property. And then, once it got closer to the closing date, it was about two weeks out from now, um, he ghosted her. He quit talking to her, he quit answering calls, he quit answering emails, text messages. Uh, he just fell off the face of the earth. The only reason she found out that he had canceled the contract with the attorney, through the attorney, um, the attorneys had reached out to her and told her that he had canceled the contract. He no longer was going to buy her house, and he didn't tell her. And actually, he didn't tell her at all. He told the attorneys. She called the attorneys to see what was going on, and they told her that he had canceled. So she was two weeks out from getting closed on, and he had ghosted her. But the reason that deal didn't work out for him is he had it under contract for too high of a price. Her house is worth, once renovated to HGTV quality, $210,000. He offered $150,000, which leaves no room to do all of the renovations, pay realtor fees on the back end when the flipper goes and resells the house. Uh, there's a lot of closing costs in there, taxes, um, all these things that flippers need to account for, and that's why we have to get properties at a slight discount so that we can make a profit. We're all in business. So she had in her mind that her house in as-is condition to an investor is worth $150,000, when it really wasn't. It's probably worth more around $90,000 just because of all the work that needed to be done to it, uh, there was quite a bit of work needed to be done. And that's the reason he could not close on the property, he couldn't find an end buyer, and he ghosted her. So he left her hanging because she initially would not come down in price, and what seminars and weekend boot camps are teaching new investors is to just go out and lock the property up at whatever price the homeowner will give it to you for. And that's the strategy he was using. She wouldn't come down price. He couldn't negotiate. And so he just got it for the price that she would take on it. And it ended up he couldn't resell it to an end buyer. So the deal fell through. Now the deal fell through. She needs to be more realistic and realize that the deal fell through because it's not good. It's not properly priced. So as much as she wants the property to be worth $150,000, the market, for example, flippers, landlords, other people come in, they determine how much your house is worth to them to come in and buy it. So the market determines the price of the property, not how much somebody wants it to be worth, the homeowner. Uh, it's only worth what somebody's gonna pay for it. Nobody's gonna pay $150,000 for this property so she's letting an investor lie to her, make her believe that's worth that much. And now it's stuck in her head that's worth that much. So somebody like me who can come in and show her the numbers of why it needs to be down at $90,000 to work, she has a lot of trouble struggling why it went from $150,000 to 90. In reality, it should not have been $150,000 in the first place. So that seed that he planted in her mind is keeping her from being able to sell this house. And she might be able to sell it in five, six months. We've had people who, in a similar scenario, a year and a half later, they're finally able to sell their house. If she can hold on to it, that's fine. Keep it the price at 150 and keep trying to sell it. If she needs to sell the property in one or two months, she needs to be more realistic about the price to move it that quickly. So, what I want to tell you is do your own research, figure out 
whether an investor is lying to you and just telling you what you want to hear so that they can get your property under contract, or if they're gonna be honest with you and negotiate down and show you the numbers that they need to be at and show you why they need to be there. Make sure that they are credible investors and that they know what they're talking about. Otherwise, you could lose your ass or your property sell could be dragged out for months or they could just ghost you. So if you wanna get an offer on your property, fill out the form below. We'll give you an offer within 24 hours and we'll see if we're a good fit.